RetroTech 100. Hello, welcome to RetroTech 100. It's been a while since I said that. But I thought I'd make a video on the Xberry Pi. It's a Spectrum Next clone for a quarter of the price you'd pay for a Spectrum Next. If you could get your hands on one, it's about the same size as a Raspberry Pi 3 Plus and it can play all the Spectrum Next games. You can get it on the internet with a Wi-Fi module. It can do all sorts of stuff. Now, I've had it for a couple of months. I haven't used it a lot, but I've used it enough to know that it's got plenty you can do with this. So, you can get these from ZX Renew for 98 quid. If I go around and show you the ports, it's got um, like a 40 pin connector. What do they call that on the website? Um, a header to connect some ma a connector matrix keyboard, I think. Anyway. So it comes preloaded with the Spectrum X software on um, an SD card. I don't know of what size. 16 gigs. So there's no faffing. You don't have to write the images or anything. But you've got um, an ear in, um, ear mic, so you can you could connect to the tape player if you wanted to. HDMI power, VGA, and audio out. If you didn't want to take your audio from the HDMI, which I don't. I I use VGA um, for for a, a square monitor, four by three monitor. You got a joystick port and a keyboard port, and that's all she wrote. Really, you can't see under there, but it's, you know, there's a battery that I did get. I haven't put in yet. So that's what it looks like. What does it do? Let's see. So when you turn it on, this is what it does. Um, it is an FPGA board, so you can look, um, add other cores into it. Not that I've done that. Hit the spacebar for menu. Go through its spiel, and then. Uh, here we are, this is the main menu. Uh, just to start, you press space, and it brings you to a browser. You've got browser, command line, next basic, calculator, guide, more. Then you've got a tape loader, tape tester, interface 2, CPM. And you've got all the modes you can have. 48 basic, 128K basic, ZX Spectrum, ZX80 basic, ZX81 basic tools, and more. <clears throat> Back to the browser. If we go. Right with the cursor keys, you can have it at three and a half megs, seven megs, fourteen megs, twenty-eight megs. I've really not messed with that. I I haven't done a lot of reading. I bought it and I've been playing with it basically, and I've not looked into it. There's not a lot of stuff specifically out there for the ZX Perry Pi. Yes, there is for the Spectrum Next, but I literally haven't delved into. It. I bought it on a whim, and um, there we are here. As per usual, this is where I land. Here's your browser. All your directories, you can add stuff in here. You can take your SD card, put it in your computer and add stuff in. It's uh, fully readable by your PC. Um, we've got demos. There's loads of demos on here, just to show the uh, capabilities of the, the next Spectrum Next clone. I haven't worked out all the keys yet, but I know F4, let's get back to the uh, start. If we go to, uh, we've got lots of stuff on here like uh, Next Basic and Next Door. Next Tell. <clears throat> so the video text client. So literally, this is the first time I've had a look at this now. You could probably tell me more about this than I could. So now uh, your ZX Spectrum Next is online, if you can believe that. I've also downloaded another browser. kind of makes a little bit more sense um, to me. But I mean, you can look at all sorts here. You've got Tele Software. <laughs> Teletext style uh, BPSs, I guess. The Warhawk patch. 
I spend hours just raking about on on, on here. I just literally don't know what I'm doing, and I just find my way. But I think for the money, you really can't grumble. Let's uh, get to F4. Let's show you some games running. This place that you'd expect from a regular spectrum. But it's got so much potential um, for all sorts of things, really. Um, from the extended um, capabilities of the spectrum next, you can do all sorts like music production, graphics, yada, yada, yada. I basically got it for games, but you know, there is the option to do all sorts, really. Let's have a look at some Spectrum Next games running. I did predominantly buy this um, for a games machine, so if you've got any um, good games that I should be playing that I don't know about for the Spectrum Next, let me know. I've done very little digging into um, what's out there. I, I thought I'd go in blind, um, and it's more like when you got a new games machine as a kid, you wouldn't know much about it, and that's the way I'd like to, to do it, I think. But um, I will be looking up more games to play. As you can see, I've got no idea what I'm doing.
on the opening screen if uh, you need a little bit of information when you first start up. Uh, you can press enter and there's loads of guides built in as well, loads of reading you can do about what this can do. This covers all the basics if you just press enter and it will go through the menu system. The browser, the browser continue to take loading. The multiface, command line. It's really very straightforward. And um, this board's been rock solid. I've not had any issues at all. No browning out, no going off, no no uh, garbled messages, nothing like that. It's uh, really solid. Uh, so I think I'll leave you with the game. And this is a brief introduction. If you want to see anything, let me know. I'll try and do a follow-up video. I hopefully um, Paul Smallman on his channel is going to do a video because he's just received one. And he'll do a much better job than me to explain things. So look out for a video from him. Like I say, if you've got any questions, let me know. And if you've got any game recommendations for the Spectrum Next, let me know also, because I'd like to play some new games. Not that I've played many yet. Don't see any. Like I say, I'm just scratching the surface. I'm just enjoying the uh, journey, as it were. So, this has been RetroTech 100. I'll see you next time.